Thanks, Bueller, for joining me on this tour of the Australian cane toad in Queensland and Northern Territory. You can hear the cane toad in the background, but I won't run it too long because their sound drives you mad. The cane toad can be identified fairly easily. The big ugly beast. The skin is rough, dry, and warty. They're gray, all brown, or red brown with a pointed snout and a bony ridge above the eye. Cane toads have large glands behind the eyes, which releases a poisonous milky liquid when a cane toad feels threatened. Its skin is dry rather than moist like frogs. Cane toads blend very well with their environment. Though introduced in southern Queensland, they've spread north all the way to the end of the York Peninsula and are now threatening Darwin. It's Just for a bit of fun, we'll play you some music called the Cane Toad Hop. This brief mural outlines the history of the cane toad in Australia. During the 1920s, scientists in Australia were hunting for a cure to the pest, the black cane beetle. Here's the cane beetle here, which is very destructive to sugar cane crops. The cane toad was introduced from Hawaii into Australia as an experiment to see if it would control the black beetle in the Queensland. The scientists uh, bred the uh, cane toads in a quarantine toad house in 1935. In 1936, the quarantine authorities allowed the scientists to release the cane toads into the sugar cane crops with disastrous results. Cane toads lay tens of thousands of eggs, and they don't have many natural predators because they're poisonous. In an ironic twist of fate, they failed to control the black beetle, which lived high in the sugar cane above the cane toad's reach. Instead, they rapidly spread with great destructive influence killing many of the native animals that ate them. Cane toads lay one millimeter long black eggs. The population of the monitor lizard which eats cane toads has rapidly decreased because they've been poisoned. They do look ugly and vicious, don't they? This cane toad is on the march, and they are quite capable of hopping long distances and living off the land, spreading north. They conceal themselves very well in billabongs. This gentleman wears rubber gloves for good reason. When excited, the cane toad excretes uh, noxious, toxic venom. They get the coverage in popular culture 
as this large a replica of a cane toad illustrates. There's a delightful book on cane toads in Australia uh, called An Unnatural History, Cane Toads. And it's been released as a movie by Mark Lewis. You can lay your hands on a copy. It's absolutely hilarious and very informative documentary. Here are some scenes taken from the documentary movie. Cane toad uh, venom in small quantities is said to be hallucinogenic if it's treated in the right way and to give people visions. It sounds very dangerous to me. For some reason, some people seem to like cane toads. Is it this one a beauty, a real work? A politician was said to have done up opposition members as cane toads. This cane toad has been done up as a Scottish musician playing the bagpipe in a kilt. Cane toad skin is very supple and can be tanned to make hats, purses, and all kinds of other artifacts. Cane toads themselves can be stuffed. Consequently, there's a real market for cane toads. These stuffed cane toads are holding miniature bottles of liquor, including Bundaberg rum from Queensland. A cane toad uh, purse. A cane toad belt, it's amazing it's strong enough. Cane toads being advertised in a local Darwin store. These cane toads appear to be engaged in, is this the right word, ambiplexus, but it's simply two purses on top of each other. A cane toad purse. Well, I'm getting really tired of cane toad artifacts. I really don't want anything made out of cane toads anyway. There's a very popular market for cane toad racing, particularly amongst young backpackers. People get in and uh, wager on which toads are going to win. And they suddenly buy lots of beer for the event. It's a real money winner for the pubs and quite popular in Northern Queensland and the Northern Territories. There's quite a ritual to it. The uh, toads are put in a circle in the center and when released, they start hopping towards an outer circle, perhaps about three meters away. First toad over the line wins. The winner is supposed to kiss the toad, somewhat dangerous thing to do. Do you want to become a certified toad jockey? We'll check out a few ads for toad races in bars scattered.
There's a lot of originality gone into the names. Irish Rover, Potential Prince, Whining Palm, Herman the German, Pee Wee the Kiwi, Crazy Yankee, sorry that. This person is getting his toad. They need, need to be labeled with covered ribbons or covered pieces of wool so you can identify your own. Get ready, get set, and they're off. A bit of a commentary from the head honcho. Building up enthusiasm. This boy knows his toad. Go toad go, who's going to win? If you win, you don't actually have to swallow the toad. After all, they are poisonous. One sees lots of dead toads around Queensland. They're killed in many ways. The asphalt is covered with dissected toad bodies run over by trucks. People say if you hit them going fast enough, they pop like a champagne bottle. No one at all seems to like the cane toad. There's a great deal of information made available publicly about the damage caused by the cane toad and the need to stop their spread. There are some very ingenious ways being designed to detect the presence of cane toads and to lure them into traps for a painless death. They recommend putting them in a freezer where they hibernate and freeze. Hunting cane toads can be dangerous, not only uh, uh, shooting, uh, but there's the danger of crocodile and lots of poisonous snakes. A more elaborate trap to catch cane toads. There's a magnificent four minute satire Check out the site, andrewsilkey.com, and download. People use cane toads to market their products. Here we have toad sweat, a cranberry dessert hot sauce. There's nothing in it that's got anything to do with cane toads, just the name. Cane toads for sale in Hong Kong. Why, I don't know, and I don't know what the Chinese use them for, but they look like cane toads to me. Thanks for joining me on this quick tour of cane toads in northern Australia. <laughs>